You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Light. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in. What's up? This is Chris and Dex from Rucker. I'm hanging out, hanging out at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Man, Big Light. You're on Rocky TV. You don't shrink that screen. Gunshots to the head. It's the round table. We back with Chris Rucker. And the Rucker situation. Dex shots Gordon. To the head, To the kid. head, baby. <laughs> it could be Henny shots. It could be right. lead shots. Right. It's really crazy. Okay. Let, I just want to ask you a question. Who is Bob McCullough and Fred Crawford in this movement? Tell us about that. Bob, Bob McCullough and Fred Crawford are part of the legacy of the park, and they essentially helped keep my grandfather's legacy alive okay. after he passed away in 1965. Okay. Doing what? Actually running the tournament. Really? So this is, was this the beginning of the Rucker tournament? Or no, was Rucker, your grandfather... The Rucker tournament began in 1946 with my grandfather. Okay. So he had about a 20-year run and he passed away from cancer. Right. And uh, several individuals, including myself and my partner, have uh, tried to keep the legacy alive since then. I have a question dating back to your grandfather. Was it, didn't he do it for the people coming back from World War II, like for, some, for something to do or something like that? Yeah, that, that was part of it, but... Um, it was nothing to do up in the community. No, no, what had Harlem was just had starting to... Do with the community. Right. I know because, what I'm saying, yeah. it was nothing really to do before, right. as far as Harlem started to rise, you know, it became right, right, black right. after World War II, you know, things right, right, like right. Manchild and the Promised Land, people started migrating <laughs> in. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Well, right. we also, um, a lot of people, like Chris said, don't know the history, but we signed a movie deal with the Maloof Brothers, who okay. own, you know... Sacramento Kings. Right. Sacramento exactly. Kings. Exactly. Palms uh, Casino. We're right, right exactly. now, we're, uh, we're actually looking at Case the set. final script right now for a Hulk and Rucker movie. Wow, um, that's going to be crazy. So by this time next summer, we're going to start filming a movie, a major motion picture. Yeah, I want a part in this, for real. I'm not playing. So I want everybody in. can really know. I, I want in. I'm still trying to get three in. We both want in. I want, want in, really for real. Can you play basketball? Were you guys players as well? Yeah, I played. You I'm played? A, I'm originally from Texas, and uh, okay. I came to New York on a basketball scholarship. What part of Texas? Where? Lamar, small town, right outside of Houston. And What year did you play? I played, I played for Brooklyn College, and it was Division One. Oh, you did? Yeah. You was a banger. <laughs> yeah. That's Big high. banger. <laughs> yeah. That's dope. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, uh, like Chris said, man, it's a lot of things you're going to start seeing from us. Um, the name is known internationally as well. Right. So you're going to start seeing apparel and sneakers overseas. Uh, we're going to start signing some pro players, you know, college teams. Uh, we have a lot of people, you know, calling us about getting down with our high school program. Right. But, uh, really... Um, you know, we're just trying to keep everything in tune with what Chris's grandfather started. We also have a foundation that we're proud of. Uh, we give scholarships to kids. Uh, we just want to let the young kids know, you know, you might have a dream to play in the NBA, but it's other ways to be close to the game. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to be the first black-owned basketball company. You That's know, not. it's not, you know, we don't have that right now, you right. know, so. And at, at the end of the day, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people think when they hear Rucker, they think, you know, of tricks and, and celebrities and, um, you know, street ball. Us. Street ball, right. but re I mean, really, at the end of the day, Ruck is really about youth and basketball. That's right. all it is. Um, we want to be, like Dexter said, we want to be known as a basketball brand, you know, in the same breath, mentioning the same name as a Nike or a Converse mm -hmm. or Adidas. Yeah. So what days y'all going to have this summer? When it start? We actually took this summer off to work on work on our footwear. So. Yeah, let's, let's talk about this. Stuff. So, but the regular tournament is still be going yeah. on. They still... Yeah. How hot are these sneakers up here? Okay, so who's actually making... Uh, yeah, who, this is your brand. This, brand. this this is our brand. You know, it's got an international flavor. We got uh, an Italian kid designing the shoes. You know, okay. we work with an Australian company as far as development. And we manufacture in China basically like everybody wow. else. So. so this is your line. This is awesome. not like That's the Nike. So how much is a Reebok Rucker? Or Rucker, or Rucker, okay. or Rucker okay. on. What's the price on this? This, this is us all the way. Um, we're be, still we're still yeah. debating yeah. about the price right now, but we're looking at that $80 Ballpark. to $90. Ballpark. I was going to say $75, 80 $85, $85, Don't step on range. Marbury Retail. yourselves, because that just... <laughs> Chef all shit, $20, man. $15 <laughs> sneakers, like, no. Kids don't like that, but those look Would really you consider high. I really like them. signing on to a brand if Nike came along or Reebok came along? Well, I mean, we, we've been speaking to everybody, man, but it was like everybody's on their own time, so we right. were like, let's try to do it ourselves. Who's the sponsor? Any, like, big players? Like, you know... Well, we got, we're talking to a lot of people now. We have a lot of people coming in. You know, y'all need to catch them new ones that's coming in that ain't been caught by Nike and Reebok Michael yet. Michael Beasley. Grab dope. No, they can't get Beasley, but yeah. they, they... We that's can't afford... Little, we can't afford... Not Beasley. Michael Beasley played at the Rucker, right? Yeah, a lot of people played there, so, Maya, but... I'm just saying, there is a loyalty there because people do respect no, the Rucker it, it, as... It, 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 as yeah. an organization that does things for the youth. My, uh, there's a movie there's yeah. a movie right now. It's called it's a movie called Gunning for the Number One right. Spot. Right. It's in theaters right now. Right it was now. about the Elite Twenty Four. The top twenty four high school players, they Tell had an all American Beasley, game in Rucker yeah. Park. Jennings, yeah. Kevin Love. Yeah. 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 And um, 
That's in the theaters right now. That Hi. year we did the uniforms. In Harlem. Um, and we're in the movie also. So, so on that line, we're going to pay some bills. We're going to come back with the rucker. And we right. here with Lenny S. Yeah, Big Light, Mighty B. The, B. With, uh, and you better not shrink Chris. that screen. Make sure you stay tuned. We're about to get into all the juicy stuff that goes down at the rucker. And Everything we got about a half about. a million viewers. Everything Rock is no that screen. Baby. Bang, bang, boogie's here. Boxy's here. We'll be back in a minute, y'all. Bang, Shadow bang, Ray. boogie. Be that. Yeah. You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in.